Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial on how to get your website up and running on an Afreos shared Linux hosting server. Okay, which comes pre-installed with PHP, a MySQL database, and is connected to their email relay server so your website can do everything that it needs to do. First up, you will need to visit the Afreos.com website, which is an award-winning South African broadband, web hosting and telecom service provider. Create a client zone account. In my case, I've already taken the liberty of creating an account, so I'll just be logging in. Before purchasing a hosting package, I would suggest configuring your billing options correctly so that your client zone account is connected to your bank account by managing payment details. Then add a new payment method and the rest of the steps are quite straightforward, so I'll just be leaving you to do the rest. Okay. Once your billing options have been configured, we are ready to sign up with a new hosting package. Sign up a new hosting package. Then, in my case, I would like to go for the Linux shared hosting, um, the gold hosting with specifications 2000 megabytes of storage space, 75 email accounts, one MySQL database, unlimited web traffic, and cPanel access. Next up, you should assign a new domain name to your server. In my case, I'll just call it lambda.joburg because I know that is available right now. You could probably choose .com, .co.za, whatever you feel like. And I'm just waiting for the results to return. See, here's the other options that we have. I'll just go for Joburg because I live in Johannesburg. And then once you're ready, you can then check out. Automatically, this should be built onto your bank account um, since it's already linked to your client zone account. And so, uh, I'm going to just link it to the already existing ABSA limited check account and there we have it. I'm set up with a new hosting server. By placing this order I agree to Aprio's terms and conditions against this account, all that stuff. Okay, so this is pretty much what's going to happen. Right now I'll be paying uh, 91 Rand 90 cents to Afriost from my account and every month after that I'll just be paying well 60 Rand a month okay so once I click complete order I now have a new domain um, and everything is in order once you have completed the purchase of your web hosting server and web domain name you can now view your package under the hosting tab of your client zone console um, if you uh, if you access the hosting tab you will now be able to see a new domain name appear under the shared hosting uh, drop down and if you then access that that new domain name it will take you to a website manager where you can then log into the website manager and uh, this takes you to the cPanel well, this is the ordinary cPanel the, that, that, that most uh, hosting service providers rely on to, to give access to their clients. And um, you can then manage your emails through your cPanel, your files, as well as your database via the PHP My Admin interface. And um, unfortunately, there's the one problem that at this point, in time your domain name has not yet propagated throughout the domain name servers of the rest of the world so you will have to wait uh, about 24 hours for that to happen after some time perhaps not a 24 hour period um, about an hour or so I came back to test my domain name and it seems that it's now working so this is the default landing page once you have set up a, uh, a shared hosting server with uh, Afrihost some sort of banner where um, they have just advertised 
to any website visitors that you are currently still working on the website. So to show you a bit of how to edit it, um, I would go to the client zone console into the hosting tab, then go to your domain name, then we will click on website manager, then you would click on log into website manager, and then it takes you to the C panel, which is where we do most of our website administration. Once you have gained access to the C panel, I would suggest that you change the skin of your C panel by going to your username up here in the right top and right corner and then looking for change style this changes this allows you to change the theme from cloud gloss basic dark light or retro i prefer the dark skin and i'm going to just apply that immediately and there you go i have it okay so i'm going to go back to my uh, console and it looks different now um, what's well, it's just a bit easier on the eye but I still have my email accounts, I still have my file manager, I still have my PHP, my admin, my SQL and all that other stuff. So what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to go to file manager, just open, it takes me to a new tab. And I want to start editing some of my internet website files. So I'm going to go to public underscore HTML and I'm going to enter that directory. All right, then you would find an index.php file, which is the very file that is displayed um, as as HTML um, renders into this banner over here. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna remove everything and I'm gonna open PHP tags and I'm gonna change this to echo. You know. And uh, if I render it now. There you have it we have just changed the file inside of the cpanel uh, interface and so i think that's it for now um, the next time around i would like to show you how we can um, use file transfer protocol to to push files into our website uh, file manager instead of having to edit them online and we can just dump a whole bunch of files at once and it just uploads automatically.